Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm starting to get a little better at these videos. There are little things I want to tinker with uh, from time to time, and one of those is shortening this first bit, the intro, so there's less waffle to you to have to ignore. The other thing is, down here in the description bit, I'm going to start putting time stamps so people can fast forward to bits of the, the recipe. Initially, it'll just be intro, ingredients, and then cooking. In the future, there might be some parts of the cooking that are worth focusing on but anyway that is so we zero 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 one and and zero zero two zero zero for the one minute and two minute mark anyway i'll shut up today is a another vegan recipe because it's still veganuary and it's kale sweet potatoes and chickpea soup with lovely lovely notchy in notchy knocky notchy anyway the Italian potato pasta stuff. Let's get on with it. Off we go. And what is on today's board of goodness? One can of the humble chickpea. One pretty large sweet potato. You can see, by the way, it sits in my hand how big it is. If your hands are smaller, it would look bigger. Uh, one lonely leek, decent size. Cavolo Nero, this is like a kale. What you need is about four or five of those sticks of kale, pull all the leaves off. A 500 gram pack of notchy, knocky, small potato dumplings. A litre of vegetable stock of your choice, doesn't have to be normal. One small red onion. Here's my real fine, some black garlic. Use normal garlic, but I found some black garlic. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's aged for a week or so in a humid, warm room, and it turns black. If you pop the little bits of garlic out, it's like they're like sweeties. It's gorgeous. 190 gram jar of sun-dried tomatoes, a paste. One teaspoon of uh, paprika one small handful probably two tablespoons of uh, parsley and four or five sprigs of fresh uh, thyme and i've just dropped the oat oh, the oat cream anyway some oat cream probably about three four large tablespoons of oat cream and off we go right off we go uh i think this is going to take about 40 to 50 minutes depending on how long you want to let all the bits stew and simmer together. It's entirely up to you at some point. So uh, we're going to fry the onions and leeks to kick off. And now I'm going in with the black garlic. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous thing those black garlic is. I, I sometimes eat them like sweets. They're really nice. There's a taste somewhere between garlic and a sort of sweet black treacle. They're gorgeous. Adds to this dish a lot. So I've added a little bit of uh, water in to soften particularly the garlic because I'm not chopping any top so it's in it's in large lumps so a little bit of water to help soften it this is about eight or ten minutes where we, we're coming up to now uh, next you're going to go in with the stock pots and the hot water to make up the veg stock that's going to simmer away for a few minutes just to allow everything to, to join in together and I think we go in with the paprika next one pretty large teaspoon and then we'll simmer for about five minutes next up is the sun-dried tomato paste put the whole jar of that in there as an aside point, the only reason I'm using the paste in this recipe is because the supermarket had ran out of sun-dried tomatoes. I think sun-dried tomatoes in there, a little bit of oil, would probably be a better choice in this dish. I do love sun-dried tomatoes, particularly with a nice crusty bit of bread and pour the, the, the oil on. And oh, oh. Anyway, yes, paste in this. If you can find sun-dried tomatoes, use those. Ah, right, well we've been so simmering for another couple of minutes and then we're going in with the roughly chopped sweet potatoes 
uh, and do roughly chop them different sizes different lengths different things roughly a centimeter by a centimeter but slightly larger slightly smaller and turn the turn the uh, the heat down they're going to be bubbling away for a few minutes right right i keep saying right don't i right left whatever next bit in with your chopped parsley that's probably about two big tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley a few sprigs of thyme you can take the leaves off the the twigs if you want um the only downside of putting the twigs in you have to fish them out afterwards but uh, i do like it like that I, I, I don't know if something's lost when you when you start stripping the twigs of the the thyme two minutes in with your roughly chopped kale get them off the stalks big sharp knife run it along the end of the, the stalks and chop it up how, how small you chop it up is entirely up to you uh, and in with your washed chickpeas i always wash the chickpeas uh, apparently you can do things with chickpea juice i don't know i've not tried it uh, but anyway in with your chickpeas do, do, do start fishing the bits of time out as you go uh, i can see one there at the edge there we are so the, the, the leaves of the thyme have gone into the sauce and the, the twigs are still there. You don't want to eat the twigs. Ten minutes later, you are going to be adding what have we got left? The cream and the notchy. So we're on a nice stir around. All of those things should be nice and softening. Not melty, just softening. And in with the cream. Did I say three tablespoons at the start? Yes, use three tablespoons. At that exact moment, I just thought throw the whole thing in but the recipe calls for three tablespoons i wanted it a bit more creamy so in the end just it's a fairly small tub anyway so three tablespoons there was probably five tablespoons worth in that tub and in with your packet of notchy so to finish this off all you're really doing is cooking it until the notchy is ready because at this point the sweet potato is probably about right um the chickpeas are gonna they won't be crunchy but they will be to the teeth or al dente as the italians sometimes call pasta it's that kind of thing oh there we go fish out another bit of time and we're ready to serve that gorgeous golden creaminess this is a really really nice dish i always like nochi i like nochi better than a lot of pastas because it's still got it it's got a creaminess to it that pasta often doesn't so we're gonna ladle the soup into a dish and as is normal i throw the soup all over the side of the dish i think maybe i'm gonna have to learn how to ladle soup into bowls uh, maybe there's a book or a website or something things without getting it all over the dish it's only an aesthetic thing it doesn't really matter i'll put my finger around the bowl just for me i wouldn't do it if you came around for dinner but anyway hey right we're finished thank you um this is really really gorgeous it's one of the last things i'm going to do for veganuary um but really enjoy it um like and subscribe and all the other good stuff and uh see you next time